In this particular example, we've got four operators and a stockman. And what's happening here is operator three is taking a long time to walk to the cage and grasp in this particular task here. The filler here that you see is the guys waiting when they're not doing anything. And this is actually coming from the video analysis of this process here. So if you can see here, this is our video analysis here. And if we just play it very quickly, what's happening is there's four guys collapsing this cage here. And one of the operator went the, went, went the wrong way around. As a result, these other people are waiting. So that guy that went the wrong way around is actually our operator three. So if I pause this and rewind it again, this is operator three, this guy here. Watch him as he goes around here. So everyone else, operator 1, 2, and 4, is waiting for operator 3 to get to his corner. And what we've done is we've timed each of the activities here. And you can see what's actually happened here. If I just scroll this over a little bit here, and I'll show you the, uh, the start and the stop times here. So I'll make this a little smaller here. And put it back here. And let's put it back to the subjects here. And you can see here that operator 1... He is uh, he's walking to the cage and grasp, 0 to 3. And then there's a big delay here. He doesn't collapse the cage until 11 seconds in. So there's like roughly 8 seconds when he's waiting and doing nothing. Same applies to operator 2 down here, 0 to 3 and then 11 here. And if we go down to operator 3, this guy right here, right, you can see here he's, he goes from 0 to 11 because he's the guy that went the, the wrong way around. So when we pass this over into our um, balancing area, you actually see the delay right here. Now we're talking about the fillers. The fillers are then essentially areas where you don't have any t activity associated with the time. And by leaving that blank, uh, it's, it's automatically being a filler. Filler we can be uh, is filling in time or more. In this case, it's a particular wait time. The guys are waiting here. And you can see this guy. If you double click on it here, it's going to play back the video right here. And you see again the guy going the wrong way around here. This is our operator 3. So what we can do to remove the filler is by coming down to the operator 2, we can hit the right button. And that gives you an option to de delete fillers or delete all fillers. The difference is delete fillers will remove the filler in that particular task. So in other words, if I do delete fillers, this is only going to remove the filler from this particular task, operator 2. So I click on delete fillers and it takes it out of here. If I go to another one and hit the right button and I say delete all fillers, it's going to remove the fillers in the remaining three areas. It takes them from everywhere in the process. So I click on that and it removes it right there. Right? Now that's not necessarily the way you look at improving this process, but that does explain how you can actually use the uh, delete fillers capabilities, which are presented in the pop-up from the tasks.